All right, good morning. We are in week three of found object art. And as I hinted in our session on Friday, we are going to continue found object art this week, but it's gonna be more specific. So we are moving into what we are calling, what I'm calling, what the internet is calling laundry art. So if you actually look at the hashtag on Instagram for laundry art, you will get a few examples of what we're going to talk about. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to use the clothes or it could be pillowcases, it could be bed sheets, it could be whatever fabric, whatever things that you have that are made out of fabric, made out of cloth, that you have lying around your home, you can use to create art. And what we're going to do first is we're going to make a palette. So think back to those palettes that you had for watercolor paint, right? They were a rectangle, they had different colors in each little spot. You are going to make that with clothes. And that's going to be the palette that you pull from to make your piece of art. That's task number two. We're still talking about task number one, which is making the palette and then picking what piece of art you want to recreate. So I'm going to get into more of that, but I wanted to give kind of an overview of what we're doing this week. First, I want to give a shout out to a few students who have made it to both Friday sessions. That's not going to 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. because remember for my class, you only have to go to one. You do not have to go to both. They are the same thing, okay? So if you made it to last week and the week before a session, I'm gonna give you a shout out right now. So that, and if I missed your name, let me know. Say, uh, Mr. Zor, I was definitely there. Just let me know. I'll give you a shout out in another video. So those of you who have made it to both sessions, Aaliyah, Yoko, Logan, James, Chris Lynn, Collins, Morgan, Sarah, Bryce B, Michaela, Lauren R. You guys are doing awesome. You are my all stars this week that I am shouting out because you have made it to both sessions and I am so proud of you. Okay. Let's start to go through the first presentation for this week. And this is all for task number one, which remember has two small parts to it. You're creating a palette and you're telling me you what famous artwork you want to recreate. So we're going to go over the objective for this assignment, setting up your palette and picking your inspiration piece. So using clothes from around your house, you're going to set up a palette for your laundry art. Remember what typical palettes look like, example on the next page, and set yours up the same way. This gives you an idea of what colors you have and will help you then choose a famous piece that will work best for you. Because once you lay out your palette, you're gonna know what colors you have available and that's gonna help you decide, I can do this piece, uh, maybe not that piece, something like that, okay? So quick reminder what a palette looks like these, this is a very messy one, but nowhere near as messy as some of our watercolor palettes were. You know who you are. We're in luck on this project. It won't be messy. Just make sure that where you're laying out your clothes is clean, or maybe you like spread a bed sheet out first, or you do it on your bed, whatever you feel like will work best for you. If you don't want to put your clothes directly on the floor, put something down first. Okay. And I say the floor because it is easiest to, it's like the biggest amount of space that you'll probably have available to create this and to be able to move stuff around. It just, it works best, but you might have success working on your bed. Um, a desk is probably going to be too small. So I would recommend either the bed or the floor for setting up your palette. And I'm going to show a quick video of walking through my palette that I just made. So I have set up my palette of all the different colors I've got. Let's see, in this little section, three blue, reddish, orange, pink, go down. I've got some gray, a different color pink, some black, green, another red, a lighter gray, 
kind of a yellowish orange. Definite yellow. Black, lighter green, darker blue. A bunch of different colors. I've got, let's see, 15 different colors in all. This is a good amount of colors to have. I also found some smaller articles of clothing, like socks, for details. You might have a small area in the piece that you're trying to recreate where you just need like a sock or something smaller to make that detail. Okay, so remember our palette, our watercolor palette, and then the clothes palette. See the similarities? There's a lot of similarities, there's a lot of differences. But that's why I brought back that image to help remember and maybe spark some inspiration there. So we have our laundry palette now. So at this point, you if you have set up your laundry palette, you need to take a picture of it like I did from above. OK, try and take it right above what you have set up. Hold your camera like directly on top of it. Don't take one from the side right above. OK good images are the ones that will get you posted on instagram okay not just my instagram the school instagram okay so send me good images this one would be perfect shooting right from above okay you're gonna take a picture of it you're gonna upload it to the google classroom assignment but wait you still have one more component that you need to submit with this assignment okay you're submitting the picture of your palette, but then you also need to let me know what famous artwork you are going to recreate with that palette that you just made. Okay, look at your palette while you're deciding. I have a few choices that I'm gonna go through and look at. Look at your palette though when you're deciding. If you know that you have a lot of orange and red, you might be able to do something like this one, which is the Scream that's on your screen right now, scream, scream. Yes, I know. If you do not have a lot of orange and yellow, um, there's some blue and green in this one too, then maybe this is not the one for you, okay? So that's why we made the palette first, so you know what colors you have, and you can use that to decide what famous artwork you're going to recreate, okay? So here's an, a side by side example of a famous one and then the laundry art recreation. I did not do this one. I found it online. You can search the hashtag laundry art on Instagram. There's lots of examples. Okay, so what I have done is I have listed eight choices. You'll see at the end, choice number eight is actually you being able to choose your own artwork. Okay, so I gave you some for inspiration for you to choose from if you really do not know where to go on this. But if you're like, oh no, I know what art I wanna recreate. I'm gonna go find my own piece. Maybe it's my own artwork, maybe. You can do that. You just have to show me a picture of it before you do it, okay? So I'm gonna go through a few more examples. We've got Starry Night, The Scream, these are some old school, oldies but goodies, okay? Then we have some newer work. We've looked at this work before. We've got Amy Sherald, number three. This is just one of her pieces. You could decide, you could Google Amy, Sher Amy Sherald's work and pick any of her pieces. I'm cool with that. And then we have a piece by Kehinde Wiley. We've looked at a lot of his work too. Again, if you go through Google his work and you want to try a different one, you do not have to do this exact one. This is just an idea for you. Let's see, what do we have over here? Okay, numbers five and six. Number five is a piece by Mark Rothko. Mark Rothko is an abstract expressionist, and this is one of his pieces. He does a lot of big blocks of color. So if you know, Okay, I've got like a lot of maybe just four or five different colors. This might be the one for you. And then we have a piece by Kandinsky. 
This is another good one if you have a lot of different colors. Though there are a lot of the same colors in this one. There's a lot of yellows, there's a lot of red, orange. So if you're heavy in a couple of different colors, these two artists might be the ones to look at for you. And then, you know, I had to look at Basquiat. If you want to do this Basquiat, or if you want to do one of his other pieces, you know, he's one of my favorite painters, so I had to put him in here. And then again, artwork of your choice. Okay, you have to send me a picture of it, and I'll tell you if it'll work. Okay, last little bit of task one. Remember, task one is creating your palette, picking your artwork. Okay, so I've shown you some examples of the art that you can choose. Also, choice number eight is artwork of your choice. You must send me a picture of it, and then I'll say if it'll work. Make sure that you have an idea for it, and you know that it's something you can accomplish before you send it to me. Okay, so the two things you need to turn in for task one are uploading an image of your palette, Okay, that's the clothes laid out on the floor, looking like a watercolor palette, each little color by itself. Okay, and then you need to leave a private comment in Google Classroom, comment to me, telling me which number you picked. Okay, anywhere from number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight, which is artwork of your choice. Okay, so I have decided to do this one, number five. Um, this is a piece by Mark Rothko. And I decided to do this one because I know that I have these colors. I know I have a few examples of red. I know I have black, orange, yellow, and something to go in the background here, along with some white accents. Now, going back to my palette, but I don't need all of these colors now. So I definitely need this red. I'm gonna move the ones that I need over here because I definitely need some black. There's a line of black. There's definitely some orange and some yellow and I'll probably need this red too. I don't need green. I don't need blue. I might end up needing this pink. So I'm gonna keep that here. And these are all the colors. Oh, I think I'm gonna need that one too. Okay, so I've moved around all the colors that I think I might need. I might end up needing some of these white. Yeah, there are a few white lines. So I'm gonna keep those socks out. Okay, so I am moving on to task number two now, recreating your chosen piece of art. Using the clothes from your palette, the note at the top that says watch the video first, is this video exactly. So if you're looking at these slides and you haven't watched the video yet, that's what the note's for. Using the clothes from your palette, you'll recreate a famous piece of art. You should have already chosen your piece by now. Sent me your choice along with a picture of the palette. You should not be moving on to this step, task two, if you have not sent me your choice of art and your picture of your palette. So please do that now if you have not done it already. Now you're going to recreate the piece. So remember our palette. This is the palette I started from. And this is the piece I chose to recreate. I chose this because I knew I had the colors I needed. Make sure if you haven't watched the video attached to this assignment yet. So there will be, I will attach this video to the assignment and you'll be able to see everything. But there's also a part in the weekly video where I go through and I choose which colors from my palette that I need for this painting. Okay, so if you haven't seen that, go back to the weekly video and look at the part where I chose my colors for this piece from my palette. Okay, and then my final piece. See, it's not exactly the same, but the point is to get close, to match all the major colors and major shapes. Okay, now remember, go to the laundry art hashtag if you need more examples. This was my example, but if you go to laundry art hashtag, I'll pull it up right here, you will be able to see way more examples. 
Let's see if it'll load. Okay, here's some. Okay, so here's some examples of famous works of art recreated with laundry. You need to see these examples. Just go to the laundry art hashtag. There's so many examples. Here's one of the Kandinsky. That was one of the choices you could have made. This one, I'm sure you've seen this painting. It's a very famous painting of a guy in like an old school hat with an apple in front of his face. That's what this one is. Okay, lots of examples, lots of choices. I can't wait to see yours.